Hello tech friends, today we've got an unusual piece of software which is called Dr. Spezzo, which I'm certain I'm pronouncing correctly because you'll see in a moment that this is a text-to-speech sort of demonstration program. Uh, it used to come bundled with Creative Lab's Sound Blaster sound cards to kind of show off some of the speech synthesis that it could do, uh, and it stood for Sound Blaster Acting Intelligence Text-to-Speech Operator. <laughs> So I don't know who comes up with these uh, these acronyms, whether they come up with the phrase or the acronym first, who can say, okay, let's dive in. TTS is the folder I've put this in, text-to-speech, Spezo 2. Can you believe when you look at this that there was a previous version? Um, ah, but before I can actually get this started, what I need to do is run something called SB, which I think is the equivalent of loading the driver into memory. Now let's have another go. Spate so too. Dr. Spate so. My creative labs. Please enter your name. You see here, it says 1992. Okay, let's put in my name. T I R D weird O L D old T E C H. Hello, weird old tech. My name is Dr. Spatzel. Mm -hmm. I am here to help you okay. say whatever is in your mind freely. No problem. Our conversation will be kept in strict confidence. Okay. Memory contents will be wiped off after you leave. Great. So tell me about your problem. Respecting GDPR uh, regulations there. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, right. Well, let's let's just have a little chat with him. Hello, doctor. Hi, weird old tech. Please ask me anything. Well, let's find out a bit more about him. Rather than rather than explore my own psyche, let's find out about the doctor. How old are you? I am not sure if I am. So, even in the first couple of questions, you can see, um, you know, it, it's not perfect. Oh, let's find out. Where did you study? Have you tried searching yourself? Mm. But I'm asking you. You think you are asking me, but it's only a delusion. Hmm. Pretty deep. Uh, oh, do you like Freud? Let's try and spell it correctly. Oh, I'm... He's speechless. Well. Tell me more about something else. Okay, right. Well, let's see if we can probe him for some answers. Now, I would have been about 12 or 13. Might have been thinking about maybe a future career. What What am I going to do with the rest of my life? What job should I do? Uh, what kind of answer would please you the most? Uh, <laughs> the correct one? Let's talk about some other things instead. He's, ve he's very good at avoiding questions himself. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Maybe I've been playing some computer games and I haven't been doing very well at them. So let's say I'm angry. How long have you been angry? Um, about a week. I am bored. Tell me something Whoa. more exciting. Can you imagine going to a therapist and they're like, I'm bored. <laughs> it's not very good, is it? Um, okay. Uh, well, let's let's see if we can elevate the questions to something a bit more, uh, you know, significant. Uh, let's see. What is the meaning of life? I'm not sure. What do you think? I just asked you. Don't talk about me in this way. Mm, he's a bit sensitive. Are you sensitive? Why are you so interested in whether I am sensitive? Maybe we could go on a date? Can't you be more definite? <laughs> It didn't pronounce that very well. Um, one, one thing this thing will do, so I type in say, um, I am silly. Uh, if I say the word say at the beginning, it should just say it. I am silly. That was easy. We can really put words into his mouth. Um, this session is free. This session is free. Great. So you can, you know, it's good to just sort of try out different sen uh, sentences. What was that word that it pronounced interestingly? Definitely. Definite. Okay. What do we get in here? American accent? An English accent? It's hard to say. Right. Let's dig in. If I type in help, you've got a few different options here. So you can change the name of the tone, the volume, the pitch. Um, we could give them a different voice. We can change the colours if we want to do that. Change width, 40 or 80 columns. Um, and we can quit. Also good. Um, look, it says hit M now for more help. 
Mm -hmm. uh, however, you get more fun exploring them yourself. For um, topics such as friends, school, family, love, money, dreams, and emotions may arouse his special interest. He can calculate simple mathematics. Okay, we can try that out. Try to phrase your sentence in different formats for more varied responses. He hates bad language and can go haywire if he is overexposed to them. I'm not sure this is written by someone with English as their first language. You may ask him to say anything you want. We've just done that. Have fun. Right, let's try and calculate something. Um, press M now for more hints, but you'll miss the fun. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll avoid that. So, calc 1 and 1. Equals 2 on AMD 1. Mm. One plus one equals two. Hey, two. fantastic. Okay, let's do um, something a bit more complicated. Equals to sixteen billion two hundred eleven million seven hundred thousand. Hey, that's pretty good, isn't it? Um, handy little calculator. Um, <laughs> if that's something you need. Right. What were some of the things, uh, the topics that it said? If I just uh, hit M there, what did it say? School, family, love, money. Okay. I've got money problems. I've got money problems. How much money is involved? Oh, we're talking a lot. We're going to say $100. Please type properly. Okay, $100. That is quite interesting. Okay, can you help? Barely. <laughs> uh, are you newly qualified? Would you be glad if I were not newly qualified? Yes, I don't trust you. That's not my problem. Well, I don't think this uh, first session <laughs> with Dr. Spezzo is going very well. Uh, one of the things that it pointed out was that it doesn't like bad language and you can cause the system to have a parity error. Um, just kind of, you'll, you'll see it in a second. The only problem is I don't really want to type anything too rude on here, so I'm going to have to blank a load of things out. Let's see what we can get away with. Do you really love your mother? I'll play the uh, I'll play the responses for you. <laughs> uh. Input rejected by language error. Okay, so it didn't like that. You must not talk in this way. How old are you? No nonsense. So dear. I'm just gonna keep typing. Don't get fresh. Oh, there we go. Already. And we're back. Hello, weird old tech. I am Dr. <laughs> Spade. So, what is your problem? So, it looks like he couldn't cope with uh, how horrendous some of some of that terminology was. Um, but he's back. Right. I, I still feel like I need more information about him. Let's let's try, um, are you married? Perhaps in your fantasies I am married? No. Oh, it's hard to type when uh, the question's getting so um, personal. No, I don't want you to be married. Why don't you want I to be married? Mm, this is... Well, if you force me to say it, I like you, honestly. Don't talk about me. Let's talk about something dirty. Hey, this escalated. Um, what dirty things do you... Like? Weird old tech, I need more computing power to answer your question. Hey, you're in DOSBox on Windows 10. Windows 11? Well, whatever version of Windows we're on. Is that not enough? Um, I mean, is DOS not enough for you? I think it is more interesting talking about he... something dirty. Right, I mean, I've lost all respect for this guy. Um, I am going to leave. Do you believe it is normal to be going to live? Yes, when you talk like that. Are you absolutely positive? Sure. Um, can you call me a taxi? Forget about me. I am more concerned of you. I was rather hoping he would have done the classic and called me a taxi. You're a taxi. Obviously, that wasn't going to happen. Right, time to leave. And then you can say continue, new patient, or quit. There he is. There's the good doctor. <laughs> uh, if you didn't have anyone else to talk to when you're about 12 or 13, you can see how this might have uh, been a nice little outlet for you. Um, pretty atrocious when it comes to AI, but it does demonstrate the fact that the voice thing works, you know, the synthesis. So good job, Sound Blaster. Thank you, doctor. And thanks 
for watching.